Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about jewelry. <laughs> you guys seem to really like my collection videos so I figured given that Valentine's Day is quickly approaching I would put together a sort of like my jewelry collection video. Now I won't go into like every single little piece, but I will pull out some of my absolute favorites, talk about some of my favorite brands. I have called a lot of these out in previous videos, but you'll also see some new things here. So I'm wearing quite the load right now. <laughs> and these are all pieces by the London-based jewelry brand Al Ghiori. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And I wanted to start with these because honestly these are probably some of the most stunning pieces I have in my collection and she's also a younger, newer jewelry designer which I'm always excited to promote and advocate for just because, I mean, starting a business is hard for anyone but starting in the fashion industry or the accessories industry I just think is like, it can seem like an impossible task. So. She started this company a few years back. She's an Indian woman based in London. She moved there when she was nine. And this whole, her whole brand is really centered around the story of Dante Alighieri. And if you're not familiar with the story of Dante Alighieri, it's essentially a story about him being lost in a dark wood. And she created this brand out of sort of her own feelings of insecurity and feeling lost within the British culture and so I just think these pieces have a lot of soul to them. These pieces are all meant to represent the beauty of imperfection. They are all handmade, they are absolutely stunning, they're gold plated. One of these is actually solid gold which is incredible. And I'll, so I'll walk through the pieces, I'll also try to get some close up shots. I will link everything down below that I mentioned in this video if it's still available. You know, some things are quite old in my collection or they might be vintage, so I will try to cover as much as possible. But this was the first piece uh, from Al Ghiri that I ever got, and this is a Libra medallion, which is absolutely stunning. Obviously, I'm a Libra, <laughs> and so this was uh, really just a gorgeous piece. And then this was the next piece that I got, and this one is called The Curator. And this one I got as a celebration of hitting 1 million views on my other YouTube channel, which I will leave linked below. It's all sort of art-based, so if you're into art, that's what that YouTube is about. Obviously this one's more about fashion and beauty, but I got that as a celebration of the success, you know, that channel, and I figured given that I'm curating online art exhibits, the curator name is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go between having my hair up and bringing my hair down because I do want to show off earrings and things as we go. But yes, these Algi Hairy pieces are some of the most beautiful in my collections, but also some of the priciest. Now let's talk about other necklaces that I absolutely love in my collection. Another set that's kind of similar to this where you can stack is a brand that I, I don't know why, I just can never remember the name of it. I purchased this set from them a long time ago, but something that I love about it is that you can purchase it in a set. So sometimes it's hard to like curate your own set of chains and what I loved was this really beautiful, I'll zoom in on everything so you can see, but this really gorgeous sort of industrialized chain choker. And of course, this is really beautiful as, you know, on its own, but what's cool about it is that it comes with these other chains. This one has like a little lock on it. There's another one with a little lightning bolt. And I just think it makes for like a really cool statement cluster of necklaces. So this was one that I used to wear a lot. I haven't worn it as much recently. I feel like with jewelry, it's kind of like with bags where you sort of fall in and out of love with pieces and it just kind of depends where you're at at some point in your life. <laughs> so for now, ironically, as I'm wearing these like huge chunky gold pieces, actually I'm kind of drawn to a lot of the more simple pieces right now as far as like my everyday pieces. I usually only really wear this little guy every day it's very rare that I'll pile on all the necklaces unless I'm going out to dinner or doing something fun. But I really do love a very simple necklace. 
Another collection that I love and another brand that I really love that I discovered thanks to Victoria McGrath, who was one of my favorite UK bloggers. If you don't follow her, you absolutely should follow her. She did, this was her first collection that she did with the UK brand Edge of Ember. And they are a jewelry brand that uses recycled materials. So recycled gold, recycled silver. I believe this is like a gold plated, pretty sure it looks a tiny bit tarnished, but I bought this necklace as a part of her Cosmos collection that she did with them. Obviously I'm a big fan of the astrological signs when it comes to jewelry. That's been a really big fad over the last few years. And it's been really fun to partake in. This has, of course, a little diamond on one side, and then it's you can add on your birthstone, and then you've got a little uh, part of your what's it called? I can't think today. Your astrological symbol, which mine is a Libra, on the other side. So I honestly wore this piece every single day for probably like a year until I got this beautiful Libra piece. So this was definitely a really gorgeous sort of everyday piece. I love all of her new stuff. I didn't end up actually purchasing anything from her last collection, but I really do love Edge of Ember. I love what they do. It's more sustainable. And along with that piece, not to jump out of the necklaces, but I got this really gorgeous ear cuff, this Cosmos ear cuff, which I love. It really dresses up your ear. It's great because you don't have to get any piercings, but you can look like you have a lot of piercings, which is cool. And then this, I got an earring that's like actually disgusting because I wore it so much. I need to clean it. it it's truly just disgusting, but this gorgeous little stud piece with the same jewels that are on the necklace as well as the ear cuff. So I kind of liked that everything went together and I honestly wore this stud nonstop. I did not take it out of my ear for <laughs> probably six months, which again is a little gross, but I'm for having a lot of jewelry and for having a lot of piercings, I'm actually pretty low maintenance. I really don't like switching my jewelry in and out that much. I'll end up just not wearing anything because I'll forget. So anything that's really easy to take on and off or just wear constantly, I am in love with. So I think you'll notice that theme in a lot of these pieces. <laughs> this next little necklace pairing it features things from two brands. One I've talked about before, which is Italic. Some of my, most of my actually, everyday jewelry pieces are from Italic. You can get luxury goods at cost. I did a whole video about Italic, which I will leave linked below and above, but this gorgeous chain here is an 18 karat gold chain necklace. I've been wanting like a more delicate chain to complement some of my like tinier. This is a, a one stone diamond necklace from Stone and Strand. I actually have a three diamond necklace that I absolutely love from Stone and Strand, but I broke it a long time ago. That's the only thing about these like dainty pieces is I was going to readjust my turtleneck and I just ripped it off my neck essentially and it, it broke and I haven't gotten it fixed yet. So I ended up instead of, you know, getting it fixed like a good person, I went out and just bought the single diamond one. But what it's on is something I'd also love to talk about and it's called the necklet. I don't know if you guys have seen this on Instagram, but I love this thing. Talk about easy way to get jewelry on and off is having it on a necklet. It's so nice to just add multiple chains, like necklaces that you might pair together quite often, like I do with these two, and it's just magnetic. So you can just pull it on and off instead of having to turn around and fish for like every single little chain that you're looking for in the back. So I really love the necklet and it's great for when you're wanting to layer like multiple pieces like this. So yeah, I absolutely love this gold chain. That, this was another one that I wore for six months straight. This was a very much an everyday piece for me. I really need to start wearing this more. You know, it's just like getting into the habit of it. I'll get back at it. Some of my other favorite necklaces are some heavier chains. These are actually two brands, shocking, that I discovered on Instagram, <laughs> like a lot of my brands. This really heavy duty chain. I mean, this thing is so heavy. I wish you could feel it. it is from a brand called Vitality. And this is a gender neutral 
company, so men can wear this, women can wear this, whatever you would identify as, you can wear this. And I love that about it. And I love how heavy duty it is. This is a like plated sterling silver, I believe. It's very heavy duty. It is actually, the thing that got me and got me investing in this brand is I wanted a really like 80s style thick chain necklace and I was in love with the one that Victoria McGrath did with her collection for Edge of Ember, but it was like $600, which frankly, this is a trendy piece in my opinion. This probably isn't something I'm gonna wear forever and I know that about myself and so, it didn't really feel like I wanted to spend that much money on something that was so trendy in my opinion. So this was a really, really great alternative for me and I have absolutely loved wearing this necklace. I wore it, I wear it a lot. I've worn it in a lot of videos actually. So I really like the Vitality brand. I would love to go explore some rings from them and yeah, they just, it's a very, very cool brand. The other brand that I discovered on Instagram is called Abbott Lyon, and they, weirdly enough, are also a UK brand. I don't know why so many of these jewelry brands are UK brands now that I think about it. So weird, anyway. And yeah, I, what I was instantly drawn to, in fact, only the only piece that I purchased from them so far uh, is this necklace, which is a cool chain necklace. And the best part about it, which I love, is that you can get it customized. You can get your initials on it, which is so awesome. And they have a lot of sales, which is great too. So I think normally this necklace is like $120 and I ended up getting it for something like 60 or $70, which is kind of crazy for a custom piece. I ended up, my sister saw me wearing it and wanted one as well. And then I ended up getting the little script one for my other sister for Christmas. So these also make really great gifts. I will say that the lead time is pretty long just because it is personalized and it's coming from the UK. If you're not UK based, it took, it takes about a month. I honestly, if you're wanting to play it safe, especially around a holiday season, I would really try to go for a six week lead time. So really plan ahead. But once you get the stuff, it's really cool. It's really beautiful. It would be a great gift for like a friend. I just, I love this necklace. All right, hair is gonna go back up as we talk about earrings. So should we talk about earrings or should we talk about rings? Let's talk about rings after. I wanna, I wanna jump into earrings because I feel like earrings are really my second love to necklaces. I do have a lot of piercings. I kind of forget actually how many piercings I have. I was getting my hair done the other day and they were like, oh, like, do you have any new piercings? And I was like, no, cause you know, they're washing my hair. They wanted to be careful in case any of my piercings were new. And, and the woman who was washing my hair, I was like, oh, cause you have a lot. And in my head I was like, do I? <laughs> and I realized, yeah, I do. I have a lot of piercings, uh, which is kind of funny because I actually, Fun fact about me, I didn't end up having my ears pierced until I was 18. My mom told me I couldn't get them pierced until I was 15, and by the time I turned 15, I honestly just didn't care anymore. And so when I turned 18, I decided to get my ears pierced. So now I have quite a few piercings. Uh, I really love, honestly, what got me started is the brand Maria Tash, Shocker, another London-based jewelry brand, female, founded, fantastic, fantastic brand. This along with Algahiri is one of the highest price point brands that I purchase anything from. It's very rare to be able to go into Maria Tash and walk out for anything under $500. There are a few items I will say, but it's, it's a very expensive brand, but I will say I, I never, I don't, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even talk. A lot of these pieces are, they're all real gold diamond, really beautifully done pieces that honestly, I just never take out of my ear. This piece has actually never come out of my ear since the day I had it pierced about four or five years ago at this point. And this is sort of a little rose gold teardrop. I also ended up getting this really adorable baguette diamond up here. This is a little ear tattoo if you're wondering what that is. I love the piercings up inside of the ear. I was never able to keep a piercing on the outside of my ear just because it got infected and irritated even a year after I'd gotten it pierced. So I really love having these on the inside. 
And on this side, I have one here as well as another one on the inside that I got done at Maria Tosh on my 30th birthday. This was also one of the first little guys that I got, except for I moved him over. I call it a him because he's a little skull. He's a rose gold, no, he's a gold skull with ruby eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, but they come in all different colorways. Like every type of jewelry comes in different sizes. You can get like much bigger carrots, smaller carrots. So it's really cool to go in. They do a wonderful job with your piercings. So all of my piercings, except for a couple of my basic ones on my earlobe were done at Maria Tash. I really trust them to do a great job when it comes to piercings. And I just love how their earrings are so, I feel like ear piercings sort of have had a bad stigma in the past where if you had a lot of piercings, they weren't considered elegant or dainty, but Maria Tash really revolutionized that. And she sort of made having a ton of piercings still look classy. Some of you guys might still think I look trashy in your opinion, but I like my piercings, I don't care. And yeah, she just really revolutionized using fine jewelry in sort of non-conventional ways. And so I love my Maria Tosh piercings. Another big thing that she pushed forward was having flat back earrings. And so that is, that is the reason why I'm able to sleep at them at night. I honestly always, always really prefer to have either a huggy, like a clicker, where you don't have a back, or most of the ones you'll see are little clickers, or having a flat back earring because it doesn't hurt when you're sleeping. So that's why I'm able to just keep the piercings in and we're good to go. Cause I really just don't have a lot of time to be constantly switching out my piercings or if I am switching them out, I'll do it for, you know, I'll switch it out and then keep the same ones for like two months in a row. That's just my personal preference, but that was a good hack that I found for actually being able to like wear earrings. Otherwise I would just never wear earrings. I used to bring in wear earrings into work and I always worked with these big over the ear headphones <laughs> and the non flat back earrings would just, they would just hurt my ears cause they would press against my head. So I would take the earrings out, leave them at work, lose them, God knows what. So yeah, anyway, long story short, I love Maria Tash earrings and one of my most prized Maria Tash earring, which I got for my 30th birthday that I spent in Paris for my boyfriend, which was very nice of him, is this gorgeous pave diamond little hoop, hoop little guy. I honestly have gotten to the point now, I almost lost it in the house. And I mean, this is like the cost of an iPad Pro, which is kind of crazy, but at that point on now, I only really wear it for like super special occasions, but this little piece is one of my favorite Maria Tash pieces. Of course, I love all my little baby diamonds that kind of sit in my ear. I really love the baguette diamond. I think that's just very modern and just a classic, classic piece. And what are my other favorite Maria Tash earrings? Yeah, I love my little skull. But really, I feel like the diamonds are the ones that I keep in the most and then the next brand is the are the italic earrings. And these are earrings that I love to wear every day. They're a lot more affordable, I found, than the Maria Tash. So for example, I really wanted little hoops that had diamonds all around them, but at Maria Tash, these were like $600, $700. And at italic, they were $150 a piece. And that's the other cool thing I like about italic is you don't have to buy them in pairs. You can buy each each one individually. So say if you just wanted to have a little hoop on one side, you can do that. But I ended up buying the pair. Another piece for metallic that I absolutely love jewelry wise is this little triple diamond stud that I wear a lot. That's like a pretty much, even though it's not a flat back, unfortunately, I still like wearing that in my second hole in addition to the little diamond huggies that I pretty much wear every day. So those are my go-tos from italic as far as earrings they have a lot of other really good if you're not into diamonds you know they have like basic sort of gold hoops and stuff but i would say the italic i really love mixing the italic earrings with the maria tash when i want to have just like full-on luxe everything just be beautiful very classic sort of an everyday look and then if i really want to shake it up <laughs> This brand is a brand that you guys probably have heard of because you definitely probably heard of the founder, especially if you're based in America. 
And this is Uncommon James. So Kristen Cavallari, she started this jewelry company, I'm not even sure when, six, seven years ago maybe at this point. And these are, if, if everything I've been talking about has been way too high in price point for you, even italic, this Uncommon James is great for that. And what I really love Uncommon James for are all of their more just like funky fun earrings. They're not an everyday, but when I wanna look special, or some of these are an everyday, but when I wanna look just like really cool, modern, cool girl, then I definitely go for my Uncommon James, James earrings. I am, I will say, even though it's a lower price point, it's not like the best quality. It doesn't fall apart on you or anything, I'm not saying that, but it, you can tell that it's just like cheaper, cheaper jewelry for sure. However, she did come out recently with a Demi Fine collection and these were earrings that I was obsessed with. They sold out super quickly. They're these like geometric huggies that I just think are so stunning, so modern, definitely an everyday. I actually need to wear these more. I'm gonna put these aside. They are just like a gorgeous sort of everyday. These were around $100 because Demi Fine, they are, you know, real gold plated. And so I am happy that she has like started exploring like a higher end price point just because while the jewelry is really cool looking, it, like I said, it's not like the best quality, but these were another, they've got that sort of like clicker style that I really like. And I don't know how to describe these. Every single thing you see here is like very geometric, very modern. And that's what I love about her stuff is they just make you look a little more, it's like a little more fun. You know, they just hang down a little more. I don't know how to, else to describe it. It's just what I'm trying to like go for something different. I think these two are probably my favorite. These little, what would we even call these? Rectangular kind of hoops. And then I really love these triangle hoops. These are just very different, very cool. Say I'm going to like an art fair. Honestly, just if I'm going out for friends or something, I think these are like a fun, definitely wouldn't sleep in these by any means. So they're definitely not an everyday piece for me, but they are a cool one. If you have a lot of hair, <laughs> I don't have as much hair anymore. So I feel like these kind of look a little ridiculous on me personally, but these are quite fun. And these looked really cool on Kristen in the ad, but this just gives you a good idea of sort of her design aesthetic and, if you like my style of like modern and a little more edgy, I think Uncommon James does a really great job with cheaper jewelry that kind of fits that bill. So she's, it's definitely a go-to for me. They also have a lot of sales, which is great. I'm pretty sure I got every, every one of those items on like a mass sale. This is another little piece from Uncommon James that I love. I almost call these little like lightning earrings, but these are gorgeous. These are subtle. These are when I just want to like shake things up and wear something different than sort of any of my everyday jewelry. They're still very like subtle and professional and you know, they're not that shocking <laughs> as far as like, like those big, big hoops that I just showed you, but they're very cool. They're very lightweight. They're very comfortable. So yeah, big fan of Uncommon James for sure. I think Kristen has done a really great job with the brand and I'm excited to see where she continues to go with it. Now, this next brand is so genius. I, I am like blown away by this concept with this brand. Honestly, if you're wanting to get some new jewelry, really expand, like have a lot of really cool earrings. If you have multiple piercings, I think you'll really love this brand or even just like a double piercing right here. This is a brand called Jewels and Aces or Jewel and Aces. I think another Instagram brand. <laughs> I like killed myself. I saw this brand and then I lost it. I didn't save it. I thought I had saved it and I was dying. I thought I'd lost it forever and I ended up finding it again. And the premise behind this brand is that you can purchase these like kits which I'll describe in a minute. I'll actually show you what comes in like one of their kits. And it's almost like a you mix and match these pieces to make these insane, like I, I'm wearing them now because I'm obsessed with them. I've just never seen anything like it. I've never seen jewelry put together in this way. I was so confused, but like so intrigued by how these earrings worked. I thought they, they, I've just never seen anything like them. I think this brand is so innovative, so economical, very sustainable. I'm obsessed with them. I just love everything about them. 
And yeah, so basically the idea is that we don't have a lot of money, we don't have a lot of time, we don't have a lot of space, buy this little jewelry kit and you can come up with just a million different combinations of, of yeah, little ear collections or curations, I almost wanna call them. And a few things about it, I will say, unless you're just like really creative, I would highly suggest purchasing the basic kit and then going on their Instagram and saving all of the little collections and assortments that you like. They'll show you on the website how to, how to create all of them. And, and it's easy once you do that, but coming up with them on my own, I sort of just look at it all and I'm like, Oh, I don't know what to put together. So I'd highly recommend just going on their website. I'll show you some of my favorites. I think this one, this one I actually combined with a hoop from that little huggy hoop from metallic. And then it's got this little guy. I don't even know what to call this, this little like U thing in behind it. So you sort of stack the earrings in front and behind the ear to create these effects. And then it's got this gorgeous, just plain little baguette earring that you can attach chains to or hoops. So I think that's like a really cool combination that I saw on the website that I just love. This is another really great combination. Oh, it's so cool. So I used two of their kind of geometric, I don't know what you call them, little geometric studs, which also mind you in their own right, you get three different kinds, four, four different kinds of stud earrings you get the little diamonds, you get the little diamond baguettes, you get little gold balls, you get these geometric studs. So like that in itself, you're getting four pairs of earrings, which is fantastic. And then you can combine like with this little, I just love, cause when I see this, I'm like, how does this earring work? Like what's happening here? Like how does that little loop stay in there? I don't know, it just all looks so modern and crazy to me, but essentially you get these little like bar loopy things. I don't even know how to describe it. And then you just put the earring through it. So it's, it's actually being just put in the back of the ear. I'm probably doing a horrible job of explaining this, but they just look super, super cool. I also love all of the ones with little chains, which not going to lie a little bit hard <laughs> to put on once you do it. But once you do it, it's, it's very, very, very cool looking. So if you're looking through all of this jewelry and you're like, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. Honestly, just getting a basic kit from Jewels and Aces and playing around with it is like such a fun way to just really modernize your jewelry collection. Like I, I can't say enough good things. In fact, I'm getting ready to go on some trips. I think I'm just gonna bring this little kit and then just make my own different assortments every day. I think that would be a really fun way to kind of like shake up my earrings that I'm wearing every day. So yeah, I, I just love this company. I love everything they put together and this has been, ugh, I'm so glad I found it. I just love it. And I'm so glad I got to share it with you. Another cool, speaking of like a dangling chain, I do love this little guy that I got from Stone and Strand. I think I got this as a part of a sale a while ago, but I think there's something really beautiful and just modern about having and that's the cool thing too. I could actually combine this with some of my Jewel and Aces stuff because it, all of it's made for just standard, you know, post earrings. So you can really mix it up with even things that you already have, which I love. But this is just a great little cool addition. I also love like being rebellious with my earrings and kind of having like a different look on one side compared to the other. I think it's fun and it's like a subtle way to kind of confuse people when you're talking to them because they'll be like, oh, your earrings are so cool. And then, you know, you might turn your head and they're like, wait, something different is happening there. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I like having fun with my earrings. I could honestly probably talk about, I, I'm worried this video is going to be like two hours long, but <laughs> I like jewelry. I guess. I guess I'm more of like a jewelry head than I thought I was, if that's even a thing. Another lower price point brands that I love. I mean, I love this brand in general. I feature them a lot in my videos, but Zara jewelry doesn't mess around. They came out with a higher quality. These are all sterling silver. So they are higher price point than like normal Zara. These were, I think $50 a piece, $30 a piece, but I am obsessed with these earrings. They're like really chunky hoops. They're kind of heavy, but because it's like a little hoop, they're not too heavy. And I got them in silver and gold. 
and with this little silver ear cuff because I actually really love wearing them all together. I think when I want like a really like hard rock kind of cool look, I just think it all looks really nice together. And obviously it's always great to have an ear cuff because if you don't have a lot of piercings, it's a fun way to look like you have a lot of piercings. But yeah, I was really blown away by Zara's just departure into this kind of like higher end jewelry. And these are a go-to for me when I just want to look really cool. I feel like I've used the word cool. I've used the word cool so much in this video. I'm feeling very uncool. <laughs> I don't know. I need to come up with better synonyms. Maybe I should just take a look through a thesaurus before I film my videos. I don't know. Anyway, the cool thing about these earrings is, is it enough to just have earrings and the ear cuff? No, I have a matching, matching rings to go along with it, which I think is actually a really great segue into rings because rings are my, I, I don't know, rings are kind of my first love, I guess. I wear rings like I wear earrings. I love to never take them off. So I love a dainty, everyday ring that I just don't have to bother with and then I'll throw another ring on to add something special to the outfit. So for me, my go-to rings that I wear every single day are this Italic Diamond Eternity Band, which was 250 or 300. I'm still grappling. I kind of think I might want to get one for my middle finger, but I also really would love one day to get like a diamond pave thick band but that's like $5,000, so that might have to wait for a little while. I also have this gorgeous little thin band from Stone and Strand. These I love, these are really lovely gifts. They're just so effortless. You can't even tell that you have them on your finger. Yes, I'm wearing it on my wedding ring finger. I'm not married, but if you're wondering why I have a ring on there, because I want to, <laughs> I just like it. And so, yeah, I really love having just these two thin, thin little rings on my hand that I never take off and they wear beautifully because of course they're real diamonds, real gold. And yeah, this, these are just my go-to. The other ring that I don't sleep in and stuff just because it's like a little bit too big. I wish if I'd gone back, I wish I would have gotten it in a size three. You can get it in a three and a four and I got it in a four and it's this little pinky ring with a baguette diamond also from Italic. And this is one that I wear every day. I've, I'm showing it to you guys on my left hand with the others, but I actually, just for filming purposes, but I actually always wear it on my right hand. This is kind of the one ring that I wear on my right hand regularly. And I love a pinky ring. I think it's, it's a really nice play on like a classic look in a more modern way with that like baguette diamond. But what I love actually a lot about of a pinky ring is the subtlety when you're talking, especially when I'm in meetings and having this ring just sort of like show when you're, especially if you're very expressive with your hands like I am, I think a pinky ring is just a really cool way, cool, <laughs> a really great way to just add a little something extra to an outfit. So love this pinky ring. Those are my like everyday rings. Then let's get into my special rings. This, first of all, this little ring tray is one of my prized possessions. I got this at the Jean Darion store in New York, which I love. This is like a little sterling silver ring that I'll add on when I'm wearing all of those other chunky sort of sterling silver pieces from Zara. This little, I need to wear this more. I don't know why I don't wear this as much. This is a ring that I got from Quince, which is a brand that's kind of like italic, it's like luxury goods at cost. But this is a, I think 14 karat gold plated ring, but it's meant to kind of go in the middle it looks so good with all my Algarie stuff. Yeah. I know. I don't know why I don't wear this as much. I'm actually glad I'm filming this video because now I'm, I'm falling back in love with all these pieces I haven't worn in a long time. But yeah, this has been a very like trendy kind of look for a while. Very comfortable ring. Loved it from Quince. For, like I said, 14 karat plated gold and it's, I think it was like $50. So this is a nice everyday piece that I need to 